It was three years ago, though it still feels like yesterday. It was cold and rainy. John Brown and his men were just about to raid the armory in Harper's Ferry. It was the first stage of his plan to begin the liberation of the slaves in Virginia. His goal was to incite a total slave uprising in the South. Crazy son of a gun. But for his plan to work, they needed weapons. It just so happened there were 50,000 Sharps rifles in that armory. With that sort of firepower, he could arm every fighting man and slave from here to the Gulf. A rebellion of that size was unprecedented and a war to match would surely follow. John Brown wasn't the only one with revolution. The Southern Slovocracy was aware of who he was and what he had planned, and more importantly, what it would do to the way that their world worked, their plantations, their livelihoods, their futures. And then there was the other side of it. It wasn't just the South that was afraid of the slaves, oh no. 50,000 rivals in the hands of men who see revolution as a dream? The North were getting nervous, too. No one was innocent. And with the revolution brewing like a storm, there'd be recompense for everyone's sins. I still don't understand why the abolitionists it may be clearly traced to a depraved longing for a new slave state in the so hope of endless. There must have been abolitionist supporters in both Congress and the government. They should have tried fighting for abolishment of slavery through political means. The United States is a democracy. People chose their representatives through the ballot box and electoral system. Well, that's the thing system. about the people. It seems crazy you can never tell what they'll do. So the government tried. They thought that executing John Brown and his men after the raid on Harper's Ferry would stop the revolution dead in its tracks. John Brown died a martyr for his cause. And that was what turned the sea into a frenzy. He gave his life for his beliefs. And it wasn't in vain. Tensions rose. On one side, those who supported the abolishment of slavery. On the other, the Southern slave power. There had been a chance for peace when John Brown had been alive. But now that chance was gone. The there was blood in the water, slavery, and nothing could be done. The wheels were already in motion, and war was inevitable. Of equality, the Southern the slavocracy had acted rashly what, and would suffer the consequences. The of the Republic, their fundamental disrespect for the rights of, of American citizens, no, other words, human beings, the would the be their downfall. Territory. They feared that the war would end slavery, but the thing they feared the most was the fraternity of the poor. The rich were so few and the poor were so many, and now the end was nigh. Blacks, whites, slaves, peasants, it doesn't matter. John Brown may have died that day, but he isn't gone. No, his spirit lives on, leading an army of brave souls in a bloody war that many will never see the end of. But each of those men knew that it wasn't about their lives, but about the lives of their children and their children's children, so that they may grow up in a country, in a world, that knows the value of a man's life is not payable in coin. The South will fall eventually, and in its place, hope will spring. Of that, I'm sure. In the first place, I deny everything but what I have all along admitted. The design on my part to free the slaves. Had I so interfered in behalf of the rich, powerful, the intelligent, the so-called great, or any of that class, I have suffered and sacrificed what I have in this interference, it would have been all right. And every man in this courtroom would have deemed it an act worthy of reward rather than punishment. I believe that to have interfered as I have done, as I have always freely admitted I have done, was not wrong, but right. Now, if it is deemed necessary that I should forfeit my life for the furtherance of the ends of justice and mingle my blood blood of my children and with the blood of millions in this slave country whose rights are disregarded by wicked, cruel, and unjust enactments, I submit, so let it be done.